They became friends, socialized together, and then something went terribly wrong. It was back in 2001. One of those friends, Aletha Joe Williams, disappeared and has never been heard from again. Now, police claim that she was murdered, but her remains have never been found. Each missing person has a family, and for them, their search continues. ABC4's Marcos Ortiz joins us live in the studio with tonight's Missing in Utah. Marcos? You know, it was nearly 13 years after Aletha Joe Williams uh, disappeared that police discovered a suspect, Mike Vincent. But that investigation went nowhere, according to police, no body, no crime, and Vincent is no longer around. Michael Vincent and uh, Aletha Williams were closely associated because his wife at the time was uh, her, one of her best friends. And it was after hours where Aletha Jo Williams got tangled up with Mike Vincent's nightlife. That, according to her mother, who spoke with police. All I know is what they told me is that I guess they used drugs together and that's how they knew each other. In 2001, Williams vanished while walking to a friend's home. It wasn't until 13 years later that police got information that led them to the Jordan River. Later, a search warrant implicated Mike Vincent. The warrant claimed Vincent's daughter saw him covered in blood on the day she disappeared. Vincent allegedly told her he had just killed a black female. And his new girlfriend also told police he had taken a human life and described killing a black female cut off her fingertips to hide her identity. Even Mike Vincent's brother told police that Mike was involved with William's disappearance. It's just one of them, them typical scenarios where the victim knew her killer. But no charges were ever filed against Mike Vincent or his brother Ricky, who was arrested at the time for obstruction of justice. This week, Mike Vincent was killed, allegedly by his second wife at his business in Magna. She told police it was self-defense. It doesn't surprise a private investigator who's been tracking Vincent over the past two years. A lot of his criminal history included not only assault and domestic violence offenses, but also a lot of drug and paraphernalia charges as well. His first wife, Wendy, has since passed away, but according to Williams' mother, she too feared him. That's one of the persons that came forward, but it took her like a year or so to come forward because she was afraid of him. But with Vincent's death, secrets may die as well. I would never know what happened to my daughter. Who else would know? Well, Salt Lake police say that Mike Vincent was their main suspect, but the evidence just wasn't enough to bring charges. No body, no crime, according to police. Meanwhile, Cindy Williams is hoping that someone who may have once been fearful of Mike Vincent will now step forward now that he's no longer around and tell her or police where Aletha Joe Williams is. For Missing in Utah, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.